All right, I'm gonna reveal some secret today. How do I access the flight cockpit? All strapped in, let's go. Embraer, please make a better jump stick for the aviators. And I'm a Buddhist, so I have to pray to God. Can you see there's a lot of monasteries here? There are one monastery there, one monastery yeah. there. Yeah, now it's stop recording, right? Now it's recording. Never ever thought about the opportunity sitting on the captain's seat. The first time you are being served by a captain. I am the last person having lunch inside a cockpit. We have something special for you today after the party. You're gonna tell us the secret. How do you access to the cockpit? The secret number one is. This is Lydia, as you remember from last week. I met her on JSX and she called me up yesterday. There is a repositioning flight happening today from Las Vegas to Orange County. So here I am. So Sam, you're gonna tell us the secret. How do you access to the cockpit? The secret number one is the best way to get in the cockpit to fly is to become a pilot yourself, right? Like I'm doing my PPL and you have control and access to the cockpit, whatever you want. But if you aren't going to become a pilot, you still can probably get to the cockpit by knowing a friend, by going on a charter flight, going on private jets. Chances are the pilot will let you jump seat so you can see it. You see a lot of video of mine that I have cockpit footage everywhere. Um, that's not easy, honestly, with the airlines. And that goes to the director of flight ops to approve. So what it will be easier if there's an event, if there's a delivery flight, if there is a retirement flight, or if there is a special event marketing flight, that's why they are a bit more flexible, allowing uh, cameras in the cockpit. Not necessarily on myself in the cockpit, actually sitting here, but sometimes I just mount the camera, so the camera stays in the cockpit while I'm actually sitting in the cabin. Yeah, so now, now we it's stop. recording, right? Now it's recording. If you don't see it, then you just press one more time. Uh -huh. I use this Insta360 camera, I mount it like this in the cockpit to record. But one of the Insta360, you get capture every angle you want, so this is a really the best toys for the cockpit recording. V1. Okay, so if all of the method I told you it doesn't work, the last way is you can still come to the cockpit before takeoff and after landing. You can come and ask the flight attendant to bring you here. Just explain to them how much in math kit you are and how enthusiastic towards aviation you are and chances are you will get to the cockpit, talk to the pilots and have a good look. All right, Sam, it's time to stand up and get back there. It's my turn to fly. Next month you can come back once you pass your PPL and you can fly up here. How cool is this? Having the whole charter to myself, 30 seats on a repositioning flight. I can choose any seats I want or maybe the best seats, the jump seat in the cockpit. All right, all strapped in. The super tiny Embraer jump seat here. I'm Riley. I'm Lydia's first officer today. Uh, we'll be taking you to uh, SNA with us. I did my flight training in Arizona. I actually uh, was a flight instructor for some students for Shaman Airlines in China. Shaman uh, Airlines? Yeah, Shaman Airlines. So wow. my students are on the A320 already and I'm here you know, flying a smaller plane than them. So if you see this, good for you, man. So you're familiar with the Sterolite? Prior and you start till 10,000 feet, we're gonna turn it on. So basically we're ignoring you for safety reasons. So after 10,000 feet, steel lights goes out and now you can talk. What's our call sign today? Oh, it's gonna be Big Stripe. Big Stripe. Yes. Big Stripe 9401. Big Stripe 9401, let's go. Big Stripe 9401, runway 19 right, clear for takeoff. Runway 19 right, clear for takeoff, Big Stripe 9401. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Departure, radar contact, climb now, maintain flight level 190. Climb maintain flight level 190, 
when we took off, we climbed really, uh, we had really good climb performance coming out of Vegas because we were so light. So we're going to be landing pretty light after we burn fuel and land. Uh, something to think about uh, is the struts are designed to compress uh, with weight on them. So since we're so light, we don't have that weight to compress the struts. So it's it's not going to be a hard landing, but it will be. You're going to know your land. Two nine nine zero. Two nine nine zero. Flex forty five. Picture nine four zero one. Jones turn right two zero right clear to land. Right two zero right clear to land. Next drive ninety four. Oh, this jump seat here, yeah. this is tiny. This is, Embraer, please make a better jump seat for the aviators. <laughs> um, I would prefer to see the cabin because GSX has better leg room and one and one and one and two sitting in the back. Oh, yeah. But for the view, I know this is the best. You can't beat a cockpit view, man. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah, of course, our pleasure. All right, Sam, thanks for flying with us here today. I know you've got footage from some bigger cockpits to show us. My favorite's the 747, so show us the 747. So the most exciting flight recently I've done, it has to be the one from Kathmandu to Paro, Bhutan. One hour flight, you fly over eight out of 10 world's highest mountains. And only a handful of local Bhutan pilots are able to land. It's just terrain everywhere. They have to turn off the GPWS, the ground proximity warning system to land, and even pray before to land. That's how serious it is. And I'm a Buddhist, so I have to pray to God. And we have a lot of monasteries here. Can you see there's a lot of monasteries here? We have one monastery there, one monastery yeah. here, below here. We have a lot of monasteries here. Five hundred. So another really exciting footage was flying on the A350 of Air Mauritius. We are very lucky we received uh, flight deck permission to film. Um, we're just in the busy stage of the crew just preparing for the flight and cross-checking the uh, weight on the airplane. It was a takeoff weight actual of 263.3 tons. Coming back from Mauritius to Paris through Indian Ocean, we saw a spectacular lightning show in the cockpit. It was amazing. There was lightning scattered everywhere. It was just like a light show. The way we're checking at the moment is uh, taking us clear of the weather. But I'm now having a look for my own interest. That white line, I can slice the weather at 80 miles and it's telling me how high, regardless of how high the weather is. We're at 40,000 feet, but the weather is up above us. And we've had to ask air traffic control to go further east of track to avoid the weather. It will take us nicely clear of all the uh, thunderstorms. And Padova Mauritius surfing for clear weather, routing direct position, Bonsa. Thank you Mauritius, 3-4. Another favorite of mine is the N22, the world's biggest turboprop. Never ever thought about the opportunity sitting on the captain's seat on the Anton of 22. It's actually a really incredible carpet here. It's really, really roomy, I have to say, from the start. It took five very strong men to fly in the cockpit. It's so different to all the Western cockpit. They have two pilots, one flight engineer, one radio controller, and one navigator sit underneath the cockpit to fly. It's unreal. You gotta check it out how they fly this. Now starting engine. Rotation. Rotation. Follow, follow me. He will bring you to taxiway Alpha and then taxi via taxiway Alpha to the holding point. Rapid zero line. Yeah. 
Line up, runway 40, 35 метров, 30, 25, 20 метров, 15, режим 30, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, полметра. Касание скорости 0. 230. 0 для суппора. Суппора внутренняя. 210. 190. I know a lot of AF radio has been retired last year during the pandemic. I was on one of these airplane funeral farewell flights of Hi-Fi AF radio from their base Beja to Toulouse. Uh, we have something special for you today. After the party, we'll do a couple of passes over the runway uh, and then we will proceed on course. And uh, as we progress along the flight, which will take three hours today to Toulouse. Captain Carlos Milpuri put on a great show. He actually took the AF radio to many G's and performed it like a aerobatic. When LL Israeli Airlines sent off their Boeing 747, they actually drew a 747 low over the Mediterranean Sea. And I happened to be in the cockpit to document that farewell 747 drawing over the ocean. Check that cockpit out. The first time you are being served by a captain, it will be a delicious meal. This is your table. This is absolute priceless experience. I was treated like a VIP, like a king. I can proudly say I am the last person having lunch inside a cockpit on the LL747. <laughs> At this moment, we are approximately at point number three. We just started drawing. I mean, amazing. I'm a great drawer. Engines are perfect Sivan. From the Cyprian traffic controller, she told us that she can see the picture we're drawing on the flight radar where she's sitting in the station. And she says it's amazing. 100, 50, 40, flight slow, 20, 10. I am eternally grateful for all of these fantastic opportunities to film in the cockpit so I can present this, share with all the people who love to see how they fly in the cockpit. And obviously safety is paramount to everything before filming can take place. Now I want to know what is your favorite cockpit moment? Share with me in the comments and thanks for watching.